Stop yapping. Blood is yapping. This one I had the option to translate into English. That's how you know he's not spitting. In today's video, I'm gonna yap until the wheels fall off about every single diss track that has been in the Avenger Big 3 level diss track battle war, ultimate mega war. With that being said, let's get right into this after you get your cranberry juice and some Cheerios. So a lot of the songs that I'm going to have at the very bottom of this ranking are mostly because of the fact that they didn't really say a lot or it was too short of a verse for it to be considered like a full on diss track, but I think it should still be counted. And number nine, I have All To Myself. This is on the new Metro Boomin' and Future album, and this is The Weeknd dissing Drake, who pretty much just brings up the fact that Drake's PP got leaked, as well as the fact that he did not sign to Drake when he could have, and he ended up outgrowing Drake completely and utterly. And I don't think this is that crazy. I, I really like that The Weeknd actually sang this verse, but I think it sounds great, the delivery is great, it just doesn't say a lot, and that's why I have it number nine. And number eight, I have Show of Hands with ASAP Rocky, and I just really don't like ASAP Rocky's delivery here. I think it's pretty bad. However, on that song, he definitely said a lot more than The Weeknd did on his, and overall, it's not horrible. Like, his, his voice is still ASAP Rocky, so it's not that bad. But the way he laughs after saying that Drake's album just came and went, was really really uncomfortable and it felt like he f like definitely forced that laugh to come out and it was not that enjoyable at number seven we have we don't trust you by, by future and he was like the you my number one fan type beat and i i think it's definitely a little bit funny and i think it's funny that this entire album is pretty much based on the fact that nobody trusts drake because he keeps sneak uh, sneak this and everybody and snaking everybody and bro this song alone isn't that crazy but the fact that future did this entire thing and set it up is kind of funny to me this is when we get into a lot more interesting at number six we have seven minute drill and some of you guys are gonna be like oh man i can't believe seven minute drill made it this high you literally apologized for it it was still an enjoyable song and j cole i love what you did with the album but the actual like the first verse on seven minute drill was not that great but the second half of it was pretty good i liked the second half of it and I think if Jake Cole would have doubled down, it would have been a lot better. But if he was going to apologize, I feel like he shouldn't have even dissed him at all in general. At number five, I have Champagne Moments with Rick Ross. And he responded pretty much immediately after Drake put out push-ups unofficially. And I think it's fair enough, bro. Rick Ross, Rick Ross kind of cooked Drake a little bit. He, he was a little bit delusional on there. He's definitely a little bit delusional. He's probably hurt that Drake ended up dissing him. But... Rick Ross acknowledged the fact that Drake's a big fan of his music on the song. He also kept calling him a white boy. And Drake probably doesn't like to get called a white boy or something like that. And Rick Ross Rick Ross did his thing, you know? It was kind of funny. And he definitely played a decent role in dissing Drake. At number four, I have the Like That remix with Kanye West. And bro, he barely talks about Drake and J. Cole. Like most of this stuff was him talking about his own stuff like, they didn't believe in me. They thought I fell off, but then I had another number one hit. And also him talking about the fact that he got some new grills. But some of the stuff on here was pretty funny. I like the Luciano bar that he had about Drake on Drake's manager still owning Drake's masters, which is incredibly, incredibly, like, it's, it's unfortunate for Drake. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty sad, pretty bad. And Kanye West is a very big advocate for owning your masters of your music. With that being said, though, his other bar that he said about Drake, the only other bar that he said about Drake was, I don't even have a line for Drake. He said, I don't even have a Drake line. And then he said, play J. Cole to make the the thing dry. And, and uh, I'm not going to lie, bro. He sounds like a creepy uncle, bro. Every time Kanye speaks now, he sounds really uncomfortable to listen to. He's like really, really sexual, but in a weird way. And it makes me a little bit uncomfortable to listen to new Kanye songs. But 100% though, I really like what he did with flipping the sample of Like That. Like I like what he did with a lot of it. And the new Future Verse was pretty good. And I really hope that he releases it on other streaming platforms. But unfortunately, Kanye West hates streaming platforms. And I have a video coming out about that sometime in the future at number three i have taylor made by drake and i really like the fact that he kind of tries to de-arm kendrick lamar here by talking about a lot of the things that kendrick would have talked about which by the way as i said in my previous video it does not stop the fact that you're you, you did weird stuff talking about millie bobby brown talking about a bunch of other stuff that drake did which was a little bit weird and suspicious 
but he kind of just declaws Kendrick Lamar here, and I think it was a very smart tactic. Also using Snoop Dogg and Tupac against him, like his two people who he's very, very, very caring about their opinion was pretty smart, and I think Drake is very well calculated here. Also, a bunny is running past my car right now, and I just wanna let you guys know that it just stared at me for a good 30 seconds, and I'm wondering where this bunny's going. It looks like he's going into my neighbor's yard. But back to what I was talking about at number two, we have Like That, and this is the thing that started it all, so that's mainly the reason I have it this high. Kendrick Lamar didn't even say anything that, that crazy, but he was a little bit of dissing Drake, or a little bit of dissing J. Cole, and a lot more of dissing Drake. He had like 10 bars dedicated to Drake, and like a couple bars dedicated to halfway J. Cole, which was more just like the group of both of them. And I think that he did an incredible job at igniting this entire thing. Like, I think it was very entertaining, and this is exactly what rap needed to be progressing. And I heard a lot of people say that, and I honestly completely agree with it. I think that rap was in a very stagnant position, and now all these people are about to be dropping albums and everybody's dissing each other right now. It's a very interesting time to be a rap fan, and I uploaded a video titled that actually. But I love this song. I think it's an incredible song, and I understand why it's at number one for so long. But at the number one spot on this list, I have Push Ups by Drake. And he essentially 20v1, he, he, he dissed everybody back and he did an incredible job at doing so. Made it incredibly entertaining. He threw shots at Metro Boomin. He threw shots at, a, a, by the way, a funny bar at Metro Boomin, bro. He said, shut up and make some drums. You know how mad I'd be if I was sitting there making drums and Drake's still like, yeah, shut up and make some drums. And all I have to do to rebuttal with that is shutting up and making some drums. I'd be furious. He cooked me. Like, like no matter what you do, Drake cooked you there. He, he, he threw shots at The Weeknd there. He threw shots at everybody, bro. He threw shots at, he threw, he threw shots at The Weeknd's manager, bro. Even The Weeknd's management is probably mad right now after listening to that Drake song. But alongside that, he threw a couple shots at Kendrick Lamar. It was kind of light towards Kendrick, honestly. Talking about how his height and, and, and him being short and stuff like that. But... Overall, I think that this song was incredible, and I think it's very catchy. I, I, I go back to it a lot. Not nearly as much as I did Like That, because Like That was more of a standalone song by itself, whereas this is more of a just diss track. And also, a lot of people aren't going to be going out of their way to listen to Kendrick Lamar get cooked, because a lot of people like Kendrick Lamar, and I don't really enjoy listening to it that much because of the fact that I co-sign Kendrick Lamar a lot, a lot. I'm a Kendrick Laser, as a lot of you guys in the comments would say. But with that being said, this is my list. If you have a different list, you're probably wrong. And I, I said what I said. I love you all very much. I'm conflicted. And I am, in fact, out. Peace.